Hello. This is an update for my chronological record of stuff and things. It's been a while, me, since I have talked to myself or anyone. Um, so I will touch base with myself. Me, myself, and I. I am the universe. And God of that universe. Um, well, I've cut my hair. I, uh, I finally got annoyed enough with it that I was just like, you know what? Today's the day. So I went into the fucking bathtub and... Only problem was my uh, my razor, my electric razor is a piece of shit, cheap, you know. Uh, and I ran out of battery like halfway through. <laughs> I mean, I had to wait like eight hours for it to charge because apparently that's how long it takes for it to charge. Pretty sure uh, technology has surpassed uh, the eight hour charging times for uh, such a small thing, you know. But uh, I guess not. It was cheap. So I really can't complain. Um, so I had to walk around for most of the day without, with, with half a shave and half. That's all right. It's not like I was going out or anything, right? So um, I have a cold, as you can as you can see, not unusual for me. Uh, it seems like every time I fucking go outside, I catch COVID or something. Um, but I'm on the, the tail end of it now, so that's nice. It's just, I've got the sniffles, and it's kind of annoying when you're talking. I guess. <clears throat> I just made dinner. Dinner at 4 a.m., almost 5 a.m., which was a experimental salad I did. I uh, fried up some tofu um, in a pan with chili oil. It was nice and crispy and salt. And then uh, it's kind of like a, they kind of function a bit like croutons. They're like little flavor bombs in your salad. And they're delicious. I highly recommend. Um, I quit smoking again. I mean, I've been kind of quitting smoking over the past few months. Um, I haven't like quite fully managed it. Yeah, I still have a dependency on nicotine. Um, I just, uh, it's more cost effective to just, like, fucking eat nicotine lozenges all day. It's about 20, 26 quid for about 200 and something lozenges, which lasts me about two, three weeks. Whereas it's, like, fucking 15 quid for 20 pack of cigarettes that only last me uh, a couple of days, you know. And uh, money is tight at the moment, so needs must, right? Um, so there's that, and that sucks. Sucks because, uh, like, I, at the moment, I'm spending a lot of time by myself. Anyway, uh, in 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 terms of my living situation, it's kind of just like me here, um, and that's good. That's how I like it. Um, but. Uh, whenever you spend so much time by yourself, everything becomes very zoomed in, very microscopic. Uh, and that goes for all sorts of things like motivation and so on. That's why having a, a, a self-imposed kind of routine and consistency is extremely important because it allows you to have a, a type of structure in your day that otherwise comes from uh, sort of interpersonal relations and sort of daily events that happen, right? If you go into the office, maybe you sit at the fucking kettle talking to Joe Soap for 30 minutes before you actually do any work, and then you check your emails until 12 o'clock, and, uh, and then it's like, oh, shit, time for lunch. You know, you don't have that kind of um, consistent, that, that kind of structure when you're uh, alone and self-employed or unemployed or, or whatever. Um... So I've been trying to keep structure in my day, but it's been very tough. And when you're trying to quit smoking, 
or any addiction or changing some sort of extreme habit of yourself or extreme behavior, uh, there are hurdles. And one of the big hurdles for me is um, having having like energy, you know, I, I need energy, I need more. Uh, and, and when your whole body is depressed, especially when you're sick, you know, it's uh, it's very difficult to, to keep going, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I keep going. I have quit woodworking. Uh, one of the last things I made was, was this fellow, Xenomorph, you know. Um, which probably won't sell, but that's all right. Because I kind of like him, so. The pose is a bit weird. Uh, I mean, I'll explain the problems with it. This is the first time I, I did this technique. Um, so if you think about a block of wood, right? If this was all, this is not one big block of wood. But if it was, you're carving. Look at the space between the arms and the space between the arms and the chest. And all this negative space in between here, right? You'd have to carve all of this art in one big block of wood, which is just inefficient, right? So... The arms and the tail I made separately, and then I stuck them on. Um, I had like a, a, a kind of like a more artsy idea for the, the shape of the body, right? It just didn't turn out as I wanted it to, to, you know. But that's all right. Like the detail is good. And it was the first time I was using that technique. Um, I just, I wasn't that happy with it, you know. And, um... I've been I've been going pretty hard with the wood stuff for like a year and a half, and I I think I've just uh, I've just kind of hit a wall with it at the moment. And uh, I mean I'll I'll come back to it eventually. I I just go through cycles, and um, I just can't do it at the moment. the The interest is not there. There's no payoff. I don't sell things consistently enough for uh, like I, I'm so I'm so surprised that these things don't sell because I've sold things like them that were much worse. Um like this guy, like how is this no fucking sold yet? Look at him. He's he's so cool. And he's got an arse. Look at that, it's beautiful. This is all hand carved, right? And it hasn't sold. Like I, I, I don't get it. To me it it's ticks a lot of boxes, right? It it, it looks cool. It's very well made. The finish is beautiful. It's got paint on it. Uh, hand painted. You know, you've got little rumples where the, the creases of his arms are. You know, it's not blocky. It's like, it, it's just good. It's just nice. It's just well made. And it could be that I've got the things up for, for too much. But then if I sell it for less, I'll just, it's like, why, why bother, right? Um. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand anything at all. Uh, people, especially. Like, I understand patterns, and uh, I'm very good at recognizing patterns and patterns of behavior and predictive uh, uh, sort of predictive models for behavior, you know. Take somebody very simple. You could probably figure out what they do with their day, you know, what their motivations are. And that's not hard, but and well you see I say I, I don't understand people but I do I do you know I understand what people like they like cutesy stuff right they like uh, uh, cheap shit easily made you know like my, my host well this is not my host but this house and the person that owns this house is full of, of cheap shit right it's just like it's nice nice to look at pleasant but it's like uh, it's like the snow patrol of art, right? It's just fucking shit. It's not good. There's no skill here. Uh, you know, and that's fine. But that's what people like. Uh, simple stuff. Simple statements. Simple minds. Simple beings. And that's fine. That's okay. Uh, I'm just not that way. I understand that that's the way that you have to make it if you want to succeed. So I understand it on that level. I suppose what I what I'm what I don't understand is when I say that I don't understand people is why it is that way. I mean I understand why it is that way, but it's it's uh it, it it's more uh 
a statement, if anything, right? It's a, it's a rebellion. It's a stance against that. You know, I'm rejecting it. I'm, uh, I'm saying you're dumb. Everything you believe in is dumb. And I'm going to die in this hill for it. And so I am, you know, and then people are like, oh, well, that's stupid, Michael. You just got to get on with it. You just got to get over yourself, you know, stop thinking so highly. I was, I, I was posting on uh, social media for a, a rare, a rarity uh, the other day. I regret it. will not do again for another eight months. Um, but I was like, it was a post about like unemployed men that are not in uh, education or, or employment or anything, right? People that are lost, basically. Um, and I was saying, yeah, I'm kind of in that slot too. I mean, yes and no, because I've, I've sort of forged myself a business and, uh, I mean, it's not really a business, but, uh, at, at least I fucking tried, right? You know, I, I tried and that's the point. Um, so I don't quite fit in the same thing because I, I came out the other end, but I was in that for a very long time, that situation where you're just so nobody's helping you. You've no guidance. You have no structure from your history from parents or teachers or otherwise that would, uh, give you even a hint of direction that you should be going in and you're feeling so depressed and you don't have friends or family or anything or people that really understand or care to understand or care to listen, right? So there's just nothing going on. So you, you have to, the way that I did it was I, I forged a, a personality and I had to be this way that enabled me to, to sort of build myself up. I had to build myself up from not even ground level. It was like fucking sub ground level, right? Subterranean level. Um, uh, and there's, there's a lot of significant negatives, uh, with that. But, um, a big part of that is knowing your own value, right? You had to know your own value. You shouldn't settle for less. Why should you settle for less? There's a difference between doing something temporarily to get ahead, to actually help you in fulfilling the real goals that you have. You, but you shouldn't settle for less. You shouldn't sit on the bottom rung because that's what people are telling you to do, you know. Uh, you use the bottom rung as a stepping stone, right? But um, sort of conservative mindsets, particularly here where I live, uh, well... It's less of a case here where I live and more a case on the mainland. When I say mainland, I mean uh, England specifically, where people are much more conservative, right? Um, so when you, you bring up these very emotive or yeah evocative subjects to them, such as uh, taxes, or I've, I've made tax posts before, where I'm asking, you know, how do I not get fucked by the tax man? And people say, you need to pay your tax. I'm going to report you. It's like, dude, I'm just, everybody games the system in some way. I'm not asking you to do anything illegal. I just don't want to get completely fucked where I should, don't, you know, I don't need to, right? <laughs> you know, how do I claim uh, business expenses and, and stuff like that, you know? Things that are above board, but the people don't like that. They think that you're somehow slippery or, you know, even though that's exactly the way the system is designed and they would be doing the same thing, only they would be employing a, an accountant uh, or a solicitor to do that for them, right? You know, if you're like me and you're poor, you have to do everything yourself, right? Uh, but anyway, some guy chimed in, some conservative shithead. He's like, oh, you know your value, <laughs> lol, you know. <laughs> People, if, if you're, if you're in a situation where you're above sort of average intelligence, but you're otherwise like working class piece of shit, right? And uh, you're only qualified for, you know, piece of shit jobs because, uh, 
I don't know, maybe you have some sort of mental deficiency like I do, and probably ADHD, right? In that you really struggle in uh, formal education, right? Because it's not geared towards people with that kind of uh, mindset. It's, it's not fluid. It's very rich. It's very bureaucratic. If you don't adhere to the rule set, you uh, you sink. You don't just sink. You fucking get you get you sink, and then you get fucking flattened, right? And you fall out of the through the cracks. And you're gone because nobody cares enough to check on you anyway, right? Uh, I, I just, uh, I still, I still regret. It was, it was like two weeks ago, and I was talking to this fucking moron, absolute twat, and I, I went full offensive as well. I was like, dude, honestly, I don't know what you do. Reading your, I read his post histories. You know, he was a very typical, like, closeted, uh, fucking racist, uh, anti immigration, Im immigrant, immigration sort of dickhead, you know. The, the sort of person that would, uh, donate to, like, nationalist movements, but, uh, he's smart enough not to actively involve himself with them because he doesn't want that association, right? But he still supports them, right? It's, it's a closeted cunt, basically. Um, He's that type. I was like, dude, I don't know what you do. I can probably guess that you're some sort of tech bro, given that you're posting on crypto and shit. I said, I could probably do your job fucking better than you, given the time and resources. He's like, <laughs> you know, big words, little man. You know, sort of guy that uh, wakes up in the middle of the night sweating about his tea con, you know. And I'm so good at dealing with those kind of people as well. Um, I wish I wasn't, but I am. They're, they're very easy to control um, and to get on their level. I don't know if that's a, a, an advantage or not. But um, I wish it didn't phase me. It's so draining to do that, but I can't do it. Um, I... I cringe a lot when I when I see people try to take moral high grounds and so on with these type of people, you know, it, it's not how you do it. You have to get on their level. You have to you have to get down in the shit with them because if you're sitting on a high horse, you know they're winning. And you have to get down in the fucking doldrums with them and uh play on play their game, you know, make uh insane insane uh, judgments, you know, based on fucking nothing. You had to be full ignorance. And uh, eventually they realize that they can't win. And then they back out, and then you've won. You know, <laughs> and that's the goal, right? But anyway, I regret it. I fucking hate it. I hate social media. Why was I talking about this stuff? Uh, taxes, um, self employment, being. Uh, Piece of shit. Business. I don't know. Anyway, I stopped doing woodworking for now. And I'm writing a novel. <laughs> you know? Why not? So I'm writing a novel. I've done some writing in the past before. Um, I would never describe myself as a writer. I think people that describe, them, describe themselves as writers are very pretentious. I think people that uh, obsess over uh, prose and... Uh, verbiage and uh, the the literary aspects of literature um, are total twats. It's just so dumb. Anybody could write a story, you know. So I am I'm writing a story. Uh, it's based on um, I can't sleep, so I make up stories, uh, narratives in my head. And uh, this is one of them. It's sort of like a low fantasy setting. Um, there is magic in the world, but it's distant and it's not immediately obvious. There are Lovecraftian elements, because I love Lovecraft. Um, but that's not obvious until it won't be obvious until the end of the uh, end of the book. Um, yeah, and and 
you know, when I'm, I'm laying there, I'm trying to sleep and I'm making up this narrative, there's a lot of gaps I had to fill in with characters and uh, world building and so on. But that process has been fun. Um, and I figured if I do 500 words a day, I can be done in about seven, eight months, right? About 80, 80K to 100K words. So that's the goal. I'm struggling a little bit with consistency at the moment because I'm trying to quit smoking. And uh, um, I just struggle with consistency anyway. Um, but it's going good. What I have is very good. I'm at um, 22K words at the moment. I've been working at that for about a month and a half. So I'm doing all right. Uh, the goal for the end of this month was was 30K but I'm not going to reach that. It's the, I don't know what day it is, like the 23rd or something. So I've got about a week to write uh, about 1K words a day, which is uh, it's just not happening. Um, to write 500 words of quality words that won't need extreme editing, meaningful input to the story and, and stuff that will set and stick things that you care about, it's actually extremely hard. You know, it doesn't sound like a lot, 500 words a day, but it's actually quite difficult. Um, takes me like a few hours maybe. And, uh, it's, it's a pure, ex it's a pure creative outlet. So it, it is very draining. Uh, but sometimes I write way more. It just depends what it is. I, I'm very slow with dialogue because I'm not, 100% confident in formatting of that, but I think I've got it done now. It's just, you're trying to write in a way that is representative of each character, so each character doesn't sound the same, you know, it, it, it it's challenging. Um, but I am getting better at it. Uh, where I shine is, is environmental descriptions and uh, world building. Because I'm very visually minded anyway, so I find that very easy. Um, another thing I find very easy, I have some dream chapters, right? Where I have my main character and he's, uh, you don't know it yet, but he's a little bit uh, kind of uh, magically sensitive, I suppose you could, you could put it. Um, so he has these dreams, these sort of prophetic communication dreams right and they're based on dreams i've had so they're very easy to write um but i tried to write them in like a dreamy way uh sort of the word usage and it's it's been a lot of fun uh, and I, I really burned through those so it's been like my last 4k words uh and i did that in a very short time um so i'm good at some things bad at other things you know so that's what I'm doing with my time at the moment until I run out of money anyway. And then I'm going to have to go get a fucking job or something and do that for a couple of months and then quit because I'm not going to do a shit job for a long term because I just fucking I'll hate myself and I want to die. So uh, I'll just do it until I have enough money to very frugally fumble my way through another few months and then just fucking repeat, I guess, and then try to get published. And that's what I'm doing with my time. Um, yeah, anyway, my nose is, like, fucking running. I have more that I want to talk about, but I'll make another video.